It's Bill Goody Coates. Goody at the movies. Extra Sports 910. Prospreps.com with Brad Sussmat. Goody joins us today via Skype. So it's good to see you. Uh, Happy New Year's to you and yours. And we're finally here to Zero Dark Thirty. We finally are. I think it's one of the best movies of the year. I guess now in Phoenix, technically, it's the one of the best movies of 2013, but it opened in a... Uh, in Los Angeles and New York in 2012 to make it eligible for Oscar consideration, which I think it will certainly get a lot of. And when you say get a lot of, are we talking director and cast, best movie, all that stuff? I think uh, best movie, best director, best screenplay, although that'll be controversial, and certainly best actress. I think uh, Jessica Chastain will get a, I don't know if she'll win, but I think she'll get a nomination for uh, best actress. Okay, so I met the movie, I saw it earlier this week, and... There were people that were in that film that clearly were veterans. And, and Bill, when there was the passion of that movie when they got bin Laden, so we, it's kind of like Titanic, I was saying earlier, and I don't mean that in a flip sort of way. We know how the ending goes on this. But the theater cheered on that and the, the patriotic side of this movie, because sometimes movies reenactments don't come across very well. What, what did you think on this one? You know, one of the things about it is, yeah, I mean, I saw it uh, with critics and there wasn't a lot of cheering or anything, but the, uh, but there's a sense of, of, of accomplishment, but that's about it. The thing that I think is interesting is yeah, the, the CIA guys, they don't cheer. They, they don't say that to them, it's a job. In fact, you know, as we were talking earlier, they don't even call him bin Laden. They call him the guy on the third floor. We got the guy on the third floor. And the guy who actually pulled the trigger comes down and tells the other people that. And they're like, oh, here, take a bag, grab some stuff. You know, they, they don't allow themselves to uh, to really think about that kind of thing in that way. Because to them, I mean, while it's a big job, it's just a job and they got to go on to the next one, you know. Zero Dark. That, oh, go ahead. Oh, no, I just thought that was a really interesting reaction. Jessica Chastain, who in the film is has devoted, almost literally devoted her entire adult life to trying to catch Bin Laden. She shows up, that, you know, they show her after it's done. And yes, she has some relief, but it's not like she cheers or anything. Right. She just, it's just like this. Yeah, and you'll wonder, and I don't want to give anything. I mean, as you say, we know how the film ends, but we don't necessarily know about how she ends. And you wonder what goes on after this for her. Okay, so how much of this movie, because it, it, is, it is like playing Call of Duty, I think, for people to sit and watch. If you're a fan of Call of Duty or video games, you're going to be totally tricked out at the end of this movie. How much liberties were taken by Hollywood on this script, from your understanding? Uh, quite a bit. I mean, a lot of the characters are evident. Uh, supposedly, Jessica Chastain is based on one woman, but with some aspects of other characters. A lot of the characters are compilations. The controversy about this movie is the torture. Um, and as you know, since you've seen it, the film opens with a very grueling, very graphic scene of torture. Uh, I mean, this is not like these are good guys. You know, we, we are the good guys, but we are not necessarily doing good things. What we do then is we. Um, is that your dog? Uh, it is my dog. You want to yeah. see him? Yeah. The, uh, I think the delivery guy just brought a movie. The um, <laughs> I'm trying to keep it quiet. I, I, no, I, no, it's I, fine. What kind of dog is it, Bill? I mean, we're on Skype. We're doing a show. I mean, can't you control the pooch? He won't, no, because I'm deal? sitting here. I'm hoping my kids are out there controlling him. Well, where? can't you get your kids to do something? I'm just trying to do a show with you. No, I mean, in all seriousness. So, so I have a very hard time getting my kids to do anything, by the way. <laughs> um, the, uh, they, the, the torture scene, the question is, does torture lead to getting bin laden or does it not now i don't want to give too much away about how they finally get to the information they get but my reading of it was it did not that that was not necessary now did it break the guy down did it make him more susceptible probably possibly i don't know and what the the, the u.s government's problem with this film is is that it does not that they said that it adamantly did not lead to any information yes they used what they called enhanced interrogation techniques which right. is another word torture um they and but they say it led to nothing and that's one of the reasons that they stopped using it another of course is that they said it's just it's inhumane and it's not the kind of thing that we do but, uh what you're did you feel like it led to that because i felt like it, it showed their frustration there's another attack after they torture the guy no, there is. You can let the dog in. I mean, you can open up your door and just let the dog I, in. You might as well have his own microphone. Yeah, that's right. Um, no, no, I, I felt like the torture, the part that I thought was interesting was this does not make Obama look like a good guy or a presidential guy in this movie. There's a scene where clear he's talking about we don't tolerate torture and they're watching him on uh, on an interview and they know that it's just not true, that they are going through 
torture, and that's part of the controversy of this movie. Well, sort of, but I mean, they what they say is, but again, they follow orders. One person says to to Jessica Chastain, he says, "Well, you don't want to be the last guy holding the dog collar," um, and I think that that's. I mean, there's no question. We acknowledge that we have used these techniques. Waterboarding is the you know the, the one that is so so particularly awful and is shown a lot in the movie. We use these things, uh, but did they do us any good? And the government's position is that they did not. Some criticism of the movie is that it says that it did, and I did not necessarily see it that way. Um, I don't. I mean, I felt like what what this movie did a good job of is kind of like as we've talked about before, what um, all the president's men did with reporting. It shows the the the, the grunt work the shoe leather work that you have to do to have it. I mean, she spent 10 years chasing leads that nobody else had followed. Right, right. That's, that's how they got him. Uh, the movie, again, Zero Dark Thirty, it got, it's a total guy movie. I wouldn't say it's a date night film. I mean, if, you're, if she could, well, I mean, if she goes with you to see Zero Dark Thirty, she's going to go with you to see pretty much anything. It's not like Texas Chainsaw 3D that comes out today. I'm not sure I'd call that a date movie either. Uh, <laughs> unsurprisingly, uh, they did not screen that one for critics. Oh, <laughs> shocking. I, I love horror movies. and they, um, But I don't necessarily love horror movies like that. But I, I always feel like they're doing themselves a disservice by not letting me see these things because I'd probably give it a better review than most people because I really like horror films. But why, would I, you, why, why, why would you release this on the, New Year's week is, <laughs> is my thing rather than around Halloween? Before I let you go, you have anything else that people should check out this week? You know, a pretty good movie is, is called Not Fade Away. It's by David Chase, who created The Sopranos, which in my mind is one of the two probably greatest dramatic TV shows ever made, that and, um, and uh, The Wire. Uh, it is not as good as The Sopranos, but what is? It's, it's just a, um, a... Imagine if you live next door to me while you're hearing the dog. The, um, <laughs> the, uh, but it, it's about he, Chase himself growing up as a drummer in a New Jersey band they're real. They're good, but they're not quite good enough. And I think that it does a great job of capturing that. If you've ever known any musicians who are good, they thought they might get their break, but they just can't quite get it. Yeah. All right. I. I, so, I, I it sounds good. And, uh, and the soundtrack's great. So appreciate you joining us via Skype. Uh, what is your dog's name, by the way? Buster. Yeah. And uh, thank Buster for the oh. entire segment of barking. I, I appreciate I'll it. I'll be second now. Yeah, I'll put, but Buster can go outside next time. I wasn't thinking ahead here. No, it's fine. It's fine. See you, Bill. <laughs> okay, see you. Very well. It's Bill Goodykunz.